sharing cases, and inviting guest users. To let internal and external members of your organization view, modify, and manage cases, you can share cases with them and define their access rights on a case-by-case -case basis. To share a case with a regular user, you must first have the user account created for the person you wish to share the case with. The first step is to open an existing case or create a new one. Once you're in the Case Information page, look for the Permissions section. Click on the plus icon above the user list and choose Add Users. Put a check mark next to the ones you wish to share the case with and click on the Add button on the bottom of the list. By default, the users you add will be given the View and Download permission level. This can be dropped to View Only if you want them to have very minimal interaction with a case and files. If the users you are sharing the case with need to make any changes to the case or share it with anyone else, you can change their permission level to edit or manage from the drop-down list next to their username. Once a user is added to a case's user list, they will be sent an email notifying them that they have been added to the case and inviting them to view the case details. If you want to share a specific case with someone who does not already have an account, but you do not want this person to be able to search or view other cases, you can invite them as a guest. To invite a guest to view a case, first open an existing case or create a new one. If you're logged in as a regular user, click on the plus icon above the case's user list and choose to add users. If you're not sure if the guest is already in the system, choose the Add Users option to search for them. If you know they don't have a guest account, you can invite them as a guest right from this menu. From the Add Existing Users window, type in the full email address of the guest in the search field and hit Enter or click on the magnifying glass icon to search. Since this person is not in the system, it will return a No Results message in the user list with a link to invite the user as a guest below that. Click on the link to go to the next step. If you're a guest and wish to invite someone else to view a case, the process is very similar. Click on the plus icon in the user list and choose Invite Guest User. If you searched for the guest, the email address should already be filled in, otherwise enter it in the first field. Add the guest's name, click on the Invite button, and they will be sent an email inviting them to view the case. Guest users will be added to the users list after they have been added, and you can use the drop-down menu next to the username to change their permission level. The system will create a new user account for the person you invited, with the type set to Guest. Below the Guest user, you can see when access to the case expires for the user. By default, it is set to Never Expire, but you can click on the pencil icon to modify the case access expiration. If you're a member of the Tenant Administrator group, you can go into the Users list and make any changes to the user's information fields, such as adding their real name or phone number.